Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. So I'm answering an email from a subscriber. They're drilling some holes in some 2x4s, but they only need to go down a certain distance. And their distance, every time that they drill, they seem to be going, some go a little bit deeper, some go a little bit higher. They want something a little bit more consistent uh, in depth. What is my suggestion? Huh? I got two. So we're gonna be drilling, so the first thing that we do as we wear hearing protection and eye protection. So I'm putting those on right now. All right. So our subscriber, which by the way, if you would please, please subscribe. That would be wonderful. Thank you very much. That's a very interesting question. I'm going down a certain depth. So let's say we want to go a half, about half this distance down into the wood. And we're going to do it in two different ways. We're going to do it with a regular drill bit and we're going to do it with a paddle drill bit. So we want to go down about halfway, but every time that they, they seem to go too far, three quarters or only a quarter, and it just seems to be kind of time consuming. So here's, here's one of the two ways, a piece of tape. Now watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to take off a piece of tape just a little bit. And let's say, for instance, we want to drill, oh, maybe halfway through. So then I'm going to take my tape, put it on the drill bit like that. There's my depth. Now watch this. Okay. down to the tape and stop. That hole will always be consistent with this tape as long as you don't go past the tape. That's the first way. Now let's try that with a with the paddle bit. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, put the paddle bit on. Okay. And we're going to take another piece of tape. And let's say, for instance, again, we want to go halfway. Now, we want to go halfway to these, to these sharp augers that are on the side here, not the point. These areas here. So I'm going to go like this. Uh, let's say that's about halfway. And again, I'm going to put my tape straight across like that and like that. So now the tape is wrapped around the auger. See? All right, let's try it. So I'm going to go straight down and I'm going to go to the, to the tape. we go. I didn't go past the tape and I got the depth of the hole that you're looking for. Now here's the second way of doing it. We're going to go back to the first drill bit. I put that back on and we're going to do it with a sharpie this time. So again, we want to, let's say, go halfway and I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to draw that right on the drill bit. Okay, you can see that. So let's sharpen that up just a little bit, no pun intended. And there. 
Now there's the depth that I want. You can see that. And when you're spinning, you can see the line. So let's go through and see what happens. Ready? Wait for the turkey. And up we go. And it works every time. Now let's try it with the paddle bit. I'm going to put the paddle bit back on. I'm going to take the old tape off. This is exactly why I use blue tape. Because it comes right off real nice. And let's say again, we want to go halfway. And I'm going to go halfway to this pointy parts up here, not the very tip. Now this one's nice because I can go straight across the bit. Okay? And I really only have to do it on one side. Because watch. I can still see that line, can't I? So I'm going to go all the way around here. I'm going to start drilling right up to that line because I can see it. That is as deep as the other one. And that's because that line is nice. There's always some sort of tricks to the trade and how to get things done, how to make it easier on you. And sometimes you gotta think out of the box. Now that Sharpie and that tape did not come with my drill bit cases at all and it didn't come with the with the drill you probably have it in your house someplace if you don't have a sharpie try using something else think out of the box use one of your kids crayons if you wanted to there there's always something to write on the bits with so you can do this that's a nice tip you should probably be writing that one down don't let anybody tell you you can't do it of course you can do it if you would please please subscribe that would be wonderful and I'll see you in the next video.